All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. We've been harvesting a lot of figs here. We are in definitely in the midst of fig season. It is the best time of the year. And I get this question a lot around this time of the year, which is, is the skin of a fig edible? And what parts of the fig should I eat? And which parts of the fig should I not? You ever give a fig to somebody that has never had a fig before? And they're like, well, what do I eat? How do I eat it? And it's like, man, just, just take a bite, you know? But um, simply put, you can eat the skin of a fig. In fact, I would highly recommend eating the skin of a fig. It often has its own flavor. It often has its own texture. And in my opinion, it can be one of the better parts of the fig, maybe even sometimes better than the pulp. There are certain varieties like LSU Tiger, Unknown Teramo, that have a really, really nice skin quality to them that's chewy and that contrasts really well with the pulp. I've had other figs in the past, like Zafiro as an example, that has a coconut flavored skin. Uh, Neruciola de Elba, as an example, has a bitter skin that almost tastes a bit like coffee or chocolate. So you don't wanna miss the skin. Now, I'll tell you this, if the fig is underripe, and I see this a lot in other people's videos, other information on the internet. If the fig is underripe, it's very easy to peel the skin away from the pulp. And you can just come in here right at the top and peel that off. The more ripe it is, the skin kind of melds with the pulp and they kind of become one. In fact, you can even see on a couple of these figs that the pulp kind of melds and bleeds into the pith or the skin. And the skin kind of becomes one with the pulp, as I said. So see that right there, that here's the pulp, here's the skin, but in between the two is this white area, and that's called the pith. And that should be more of a darker color when you actually harvest your figs, instead of a very pure, bright white, it should be more yellow. And as the figs start to ripen, as I said, that pith, the pulp almost bleeds into the pith and it all kind of becomes one. So if you're gonna be peeling the, the skin of your figs, my point is you're probably not harvesting them when they're ripe because it's really difficult to peel the skin off of a fig that's very ripe. Now, some people like them a little bit less ripe. Uh, they like them with more chewiness or texture to them rather than jam straight off the tree. I mean, that's what a lot of these are to me is I eat these and it's like jam. It's like nature's pastry, jam straight off the tree. I mean, that is just, to me, it's incredible. You don't have to bake them. You don't have to process them. You don't even have to make them into jam. They're already jam. <laughs> so uh, I think for me, you have to eat the skin. I think there's probably a lot more nutrients in the skin that we're aware of, but I'll say this. If the figs are not very ripe, like the other one we showed you, the skin is probably gonna have some bitter components, resinous components, or even have a grassiness to it that's not really that pleasurable. So if you're not really enjoying the skin, again, it's because you're harvesting them too early and that resinous grassy flavor goes away as the figs ripen. And you'll see it at the top of the fig here that figs ripen from the bottom up. So the top's gonna be less ripe than the bottom, and the top of the fig is gonna have more of that grassy, resinous flavor that a lot of people don't like in their figs, especially figs that are grown or you can buy at the grocery store. So that's why I think a lot of people peel the skin and take the top off, at least this upper part of the peel, and then eat the rest is because it doesn't taste very good. Now, the whole fig is edible. I'll say that as well. I think even the stem, the stem's edible, but you don't want to eat it. So do yourself a favor. Uh, and the stem can be obviously larger, shorter or smaller, depending on the variety. This one here has a longer stem. And so this is quite woody and not really good to eat. So if you're going to eat the fig, what I would recommend is taking the fig by the bottom. This is what I like to do. I always check the figs because I wanna see the inside. I like to see the color and I open them up from the eye, from the bottom, not by the stem. 
and that splays them open like this. You can separate them, and then I'll eat one half here, and the other half I'll hold by the stem, eat that, but throw away the stem. And that's pretty much right there, how to eat them, if the skin's edible, which parts of the fig are edible. Well, thank you for watching this one. Please do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my blog, figboss.com. There's so much other fig-related information there. You're going to love it.